What's going on YouTube? It's Jose aka KJ Link Vision. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to show you a cool trick. But I want to come and take a quick look outside. See how it is outside. But let's jump right into it. Let's go ahead and get to my desk so I can show you this cool trick. Let's go. Oh. Whoa. Man, I should have just walked around. But anyways... I made a video like this showing this cool teleport trick. I posted it on my social media and everybody kept asking me, how do you do it? So today I'm about to show you how to do the teleport video effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get it. All right, guys, before we get into the effect, make sure if you like what you learned today, you go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to know about some more tutorials coming your way, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you always get notified of those tutorials that are coming. Also, plenty of my other videos that I drop. Thank you. Make sure after you do this tutorial, you drop a comment. Let me know how it worked for you. All right, let's jump into the computer. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and record your shots. Um, you're going to want to pick a location where there's not a lot of movement in the background. So here's my first shot here. Um, where, as you could see, it's uh, some empty space. And I walk into the clip. I wave to the camera. And I jump. Okay. Second clip as well. Walk into the camera. And I'm jumping in. So these are my two clips that I shot, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and drop them on your timeline once you import them into Final Cut Pro. And then what you're going to do here is you're going to hit B to bring your knife tool, your blade tool here. And you're gonna try to find where you wanna cut um, here. Um, let's bring this in. I need this whole clip. All right, there we go. So you're going to figure out where you want to cut it at. Um, I know that I want to cut it. Mm. Right when I'm in the middle of the air is kind of where you want to cut it at. So we're going to jump here. Okay, so we're going to go here. Probably about right there is where... I'm going to cut my first cut, and I'm also going to cut right before I come in here. So maybe about right here. Okay. And so we're going to delete that second half. Uh, we're going to shorten this beginning, and we're going to bring it into the middle. That way we have a little gap here. So now your beginning clip is going to look something like this. Okay. Then we're going to find out where we're jumping in. And we're going to come about right there. Blade tool. Cut that. And cut the beginning. So now your clips kind of look something like this. Disappear. And come back in. All right. Now the next thing you're going to do is go ahead and add your smoke to this video. So... I got my smoke here. This is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and bring these clips down and bring them here. I have provided you with these um, smokes that are provided. They are in the description below for you to go ahead and download those absolutely free. So I did provide them for you. So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and speed them up. Um, you can do four. I prefer eight. So I'll go ahead and speed this up. On both of these we'll zoom in a little bit here so we can figure out where we need it here then you're going to go to both of these and you're going to go to blending mode and change it to subtract on both of those that way it gets rid of the black and now you're just left with the smoke okay then we're going to go ahead and find where we want these to take place I'm gonna say probably right about here so we'll take a look. Then we're going to go to the transform so we can move them. So we'll click on this first one and we'll bring it up top. 
I'm gonna take the second one and put it more towards the bottom. And let's take a look what we got here. Okay. Then what you're gonna go here do is you're going to go to your transitions and you're gonna add a cross dissolve to these. And this is just gonna make it look a little bit better as far as the smoothness of the entrance and out of that. I actually want a little bit more. There we go. That looks perfect. See, it looks good. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to select both of these. Hit Command-C to copy. And we're going to go right over here and hit Command-V. And we'll add these cross dissolves because they didn't copy for some reason. These ones, the second one, I like to speed them up a little bit um, so they last a little bit longer uh, for that re-entry. So I'll put them at about four here. Then we're going to go ahead and transform and bring them over here. And they look a little bit too big. So we're going to bring those in. So sometimes you'll need to make them smaller, depending on how far away you are from the screen. There you go. And we'll just go here. I'm going to bring this one up a little bit higher. There we go. And now you have this effect. And now you want to make it a little bit more realistic. So the way you're going to go ahead and do that is I have some sound effects here. I've also provided those in the description below in the same download link. So not only do you get the smoke in the download link, you get the sound effects as well. So with that, we have that hard hit effect. And we have this little whoosh effect. So I use that swish effect on the first one and the hard hit on the second one. Just bring those down, and this is what you got after that. And that's the effect. And there you have it. That's how you do a teleport effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Go ahead and try it out. Let me know what you think. Let me know if it works for you. If you want to do the teleport to different locations like I did at the beginning of this video, you do it exactly the same way, except you just transition to the other part. Make sure you shoot about 10 seconds of the clip with nothing moving so you can have that effect and make it look a little bit more realistic. If you have Premiere Pro and unsure how to do this, go ahead and drop a comment below. Let me know you want the tutorial in Premiere Pro and I'll go ahead and get that done for you as well. All right, I'm out of here. Before I go, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, especially if you love this tutorial, and hit that notification bell for future tutorials, and I'll see you later. I'm out.